very liberating actually very comforting to put take your fears and put them out there like outside of you and like baad mein fir gayab ho gayi shoot ke baad she disappeared because i don't know where she was yeah, yeah it's right. like it reveals what their fears are or right. what their idea of yeah Hi Anurag hi Shobita welcome hi. to Box Office India like i said the trailer is really intriguing uh, everyone in the office were like okay we want to know more so how d- we we really would like to know how did this idea come up no we were like we've been doing things like love stories after yeah. the success of love stories decided to do an, another anthology karan came up with the idea of ghost stories okay and i think because none of us have actually grappled with or done this genre we all very excited to explore ourselves right but how difficult it is to convince an indian audience to uh, watch a horror like you know we are in all indian of, audience loves horror yeah i think yeah, but then we are love. in all of the horrible ho- hollywood horror not the indian ones because yeah, the indian ones are not horror indian movies. but indian horror i'm saying whatever it says horror films in india I'm have big. always made much more money than most films yeah okay i'm saying you talk uh, look, vikram bhat horror is extremely popular right. <laughs> it's the closest thing home yeah <laughs> and ram se is more very popular right right hum hum log ke liye naya tha i like psychological horror okay and for me that was what i wanted to do i got a girl 22 year old girl whose first script it is oh she lovely. came up with this creepy story okay after that i never saw her the same way again <laughs> <laughs> and it okay. was isha lutra ooh so what was that what, so the girl who isha hmm. isha wrote the script so you must have read some other stories as well i read other stories too okay. no but they they were like kind of horrors and things and all kind i like psychological horror mm-hmm. so i responded to this okay because also there's a kind of a humanity to it in a very very strange way and i i have been through it. I, i have a child right. right i have a child and i've been through that whole stage of being a new parent and not knowing how to what to do how Correct. to and the things and, and then you go past that phase and right so i know the anxiety of it and trauma of it when things happen or not happen or go wrong i just i've relived it for her it was new yeah how was your experience very liberating actually very comforting to put take your fears and put them out there like outside of you right. yeah So you know uh, do you think you're getting very good scripts in terms of you know in uh, in web world compared to what you get you're getting in films I don't know I mean I I've, I've been a part of a, a a variety of like projects which I mean some I how do I put it I think I've been see I also been lucky in the I sense that I'm still trying to figure you out Yeah because they're still trying to figure that out Yeah right I mean what happens what time lagta hai some initial hiccups hote hain कैसे है ये इसमें करेगी राइट राइट आई आई थिंक पीपल गॉट अ न्यू पर्सपेक्टिव as i attempt to do a variety of parts they see yeah yeah creepy ghost story yeah i don't think one one side of me is better or like say someone asked me like do you, don't, do you like yourself better in made in heaven than the other films which is very like this way actually i feel the same about all of them this happened to be like it did a lot better so uh, it, it there's a lot more supposed success attached with it so it's yeah. just that but for me as an actor i'm i'm very neutral to everything i do and i want to do as many stories as possible mm-hmm. without being attached to a type right yeah. anurag you you have worked twice with uh, radhika apte and you know she is netflix ka darling well, how come uh, shobita how did shobita like, happen no radhika apte <laughs> it was the whole thing was like i will make another shot without radhika apte but how did and, she happen uh, she tested for see for anything i do it and i was very thankful because you know after becoming the star hmm. after having done raman raghav she again came and tested for it wow. i just wanted to make sure because as either you're dealing with somebody who knows exactly how what pregnancy can be like right. and there's been some difficult scenes yeah been through the experience and she has not so i'm like you know i need to and we gave her a prosthetic belly mm-hmm. and she loved funny. wearing it yeah. and she walked around it all day <laughs> <laughs> she'd walk around like this and she would just be so happy <laughs> holding that belly and On the last day of the shoot, she just broke down. Totally different reaction. Yeah. 
Well, must think about it. He got scared. She cried a lot. I was like, oh, very unusual to see somebody crying so much. No, I cried a lot. And but that was... Thing, but film was... Film was like, what was that? And then she hit me. She hit the, you? She hit me because she said, why did you put me through this? And she cried. And then she got a guy. After the shoot, she disappeared because I don't know where she was. Okay. And we were sitting there. And then I get a call saying that, thank you. How sweet. <laughs> How sweet. But you know, actually when you do a film like this, which is so heavy on psychology, you mentally get disturbed. How was your uh, experience? I actually have uh, many disturbing thoughts. It was nice to put them out there. Honestly. But did, was there any kind of baggage when you went home that you had this? Uh, no, I felt closer to so many people who probably go through the same thing. Okay. You know, like, I mean, I've had my share of issues that I deal with. Physical, mental, psychological, whatever. So every time any kind of an issue, any kind of a problem, any kind of a handicap is addressed, any kind of a fear is addressed, there are so many more people who resonate with it or relate to it. Suddenly you feel less alone because you feel heard. In, I mean, it's like almost like by playing the character, I feel like I'm being heard. Mm -hmm. So it's. And plus, also while shooting, this is, it was a very big woman group on the set, mm -hmm. and a lot of women have had personal experiences to share. You know, it became a bonding this, session yeah. for all of these. And suddenly you realize that everyone's just going through their own share of highs and lows, and we're all so alone in our right. issues. So it's so nice to actually address it, put it out there. It also must have helped having so many women in the on set. I mean, it wasn't a conscious ideas. decision for the film no. or something. <coughs> no, it was kind of. It was kind of that we wanted more women than men. There were also men on the crew. Yeah. yeah, but more women than men because we just wanted to shoot in a space like that. Yeah. And there wasn't much space in there. Okay. But I think somehow a lot of women who've had personal experiences to share ended up being on the group. But, I mean, but also in, on this film, actually, I couldn't really tell if somebody, if I was talking to a male or a female. It was a person. If you're an asshole or you're a wonderful person, it had to do with you as a person. It didn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Correct. So that's just how it should be also. You're an individual. Mm -hmm. And that's how everybody on the set was. Okay. Anurag, yeah. did you, Karan, uh, Zoya and Debakar discuss the stories that no, you had? we never do. The Why idea so? is not to do that. The idea is when first time we see each other's film, is after having shot and edited it, it's a, it's a thing. Okay. We mm -hmm. don't know each other's stories. We, after having made it, we sit together one night, somewhere at Karan's house or Zaya's house or somewhere, and we sit and watch each other's films. And that's when we sit down and decide, who's the first film, who's the second film, who's the third film, who's the fourth film. Oh. Like that. Okay. We don't know what each other is doing. Maybe we tell each other who we have cast. Okay. But so, not, not more than that. So, whose story did you like the most? Me? I know yours, but... No, no. I, I won't talk about my story. I mean, I mean, on a different level, everything was good. But everything was very different. Yeah, that's in the trailer also. Like even thematically, they're all... Yeah, yeah, very different thematically. Yeah. Very different. Every, all four are very distinct from each other. Right. So you can't really say, one is an honest ghost story, one is political, one is funny, mm -hmm. I'm creepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you know, you're... It's a book here. In a book, it's like, this is good or this is good. You want to see it, what is the perspective of it? For me, the very enjoyable thing is, when you watch a film, you're like, this is how it thinks. This is how it thinks, this is how it thinks, this is how it thinks, and this is how it thinks. That is a very exciting thing to see. I like to see the filmmaker do it. Yeah, it's like it reveals what their fears are, or what their idea of what they do. Yeah, it's like it reveals what their fears are, or what their idea of. Okay. You all are the ones who started the trend of you know four directors coming together. We never saw directors coming together and directing something. That credit must go to Ashidua. Ashidua <coughs> one. Mm -hmm. It was her idea. And I remember when she was trying to do, do it the first time, Bombay Talk is. Yeah. How hard it was for her to bring together four directors. Correct. And the most surprising was Karan coming on board. Because mm -hmm. and then it just we just bonded during the promotion of the first. Right. And I think we, it became a thing. Correct. So and now we look forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was just going to say. What is going to happen? What is going to happen? It's not going to happen, but it's going to happen. What about last stories? Anything we can see in that line? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. My last question to you all. Which is your favorite psychological thriller? For Hollywood, Bollywood, anyway. Psychological thriller? Something that really, really stays with you. I like Black Swan in recent times. 
I really like Black Swan. Mm -hmm. And Shabita? No, actually, I haven't watched any, I think, honestly. Okay. Yeah. I have the closest reaction to horror when I see some Bollywood films, which are not horror. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no. Mm. Okay. Great. Well, on that, now, thank you so much for thank you so much. having a conversation thank with you. us. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Anurag. Hi, I'm Sobita Dhulipala. And you are watching us on Box Office India. Like, share and subscribe. <laughs>